Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasal Reviews. We've got more pad labor in the form of the Wave, W-H-A-M, Wham, Wave High Advanced Model, ARL-99 Assault Airborne Labor. So this is a Hell Diver. This is a version from the movie. Uh, I don't remember if it was the TV show or the OVA, but there was one, some slight differences. Um, it was like a prototype version, so different colors like on part of the helmet and stuff like that, but same basic sculpt or mold, body type, whatever you want to call it, because it wasn't an actual toy. It was this in the TV show, but this is pretty dead on to the movie design. So this one is approximately six and a half inches tall. It is a mixture of plastic and die cast, so it has plastic mostly in the inner frame, not a ton, like the lower legs and stuff like that, but the body here, I know it's die cast because there's actually a part that magnets to it. It does have a matte finish, so this is a lot like the Tetsukyojin, the Panzer World Galliant uh, piece that they did, rather than the Ingram Unit 1, so I actually like the build and finish of this a lot better. Um, I will tell you guys in advance that it does have a lot more articulation points than the Unit 1 that they made that I don't really like, but they're very limited as you're about to see. In terms of accessories, it comes with his parachute and back thruster, an optional pilot to view, and don't worry, I know it's far away, but we'll take a look at all of this up close. The blacked out visor. All right. His Gatling type gun, as well as the cable that attaches to the body. A pair of alternate open hands, and his front thrusters as well. So that's a cool little design piece to this. I actually love that. So, okay. Getting this stuff out of the way. Oh, it also comes with an alternate cover for where the pilot figure goes in. We'll look at that. As well as two more covers. I'm not going to take these out because they're so small that I don't really want to deal with having to peg them in and peg them out. But one is a cover for this hole that the Gatling gun goes into. And super tiny, like... I can barely see it, so I'm sure you barely can as well. And I actually don't know where the smallest one goes in. These are the instructions. And it's the peg shape makes it easy to tell where this one goes. Same as this one, the size of it. But this small last one, no idea. So if anybody sees this and is reading what the instructions say, please let me know in the comment section because... I don't read that. All right, getting the figure back into focus here. And again, six and a half inches tall. One thing you'll notice is that the cloth parts on this one, there's no rubber or anything like that. It's all sculpted plastic. Nice painted details. And just so that I don't forget during the review itself, these parts do open at the legs to reveal piston type pieces but none of them are attached to anything they're not working pistons they're just all sculpted they can move a bit they're on ball joints back there but they don't actually move up and down or anything like that they're not mechanical right. clip that back and before we even get into the figure itself the articulation what now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a few of the accessories here first All right, so there's the pilot. It just pegs in. Okay. Make sure we're focused there. Okay. So simple enough stuff. I dig it. And to go ahead and have the cover instead not that huge again it's not even something that's visible but make sure I'm putting it in the right direction which of course I was not my bad All right. so once you get it going the right way it goes in pretty easy 
And for what it's worth, it's kind of neat that it emulates it being covered up. And we'll also take a look at the alternate. That alternate visor there. So move that out. And see the visor still stays on. And the black one just pegs over. Rotate the arm. This ball joint for that shoulder pan, it's a bit loose, so need some polish on mine. All right, so looking at the figure itself, ball jointed head, so decent amount of up and down movement, full 360 there. Now the shoulders, the shoulder pads, are actually on two ball joints with kind of a pole in between them. So there is some movement back and forth. And then, of course, because the top part's a ball joint too, it can there. Again, this arm's loose, or that shoulder, the ball joint on that one, pretty loose. I'm sure nail polish will fix that, but it's what it is. So we'll work with this arm just to show you the articulation. All right, so a bit of butterfly in there, not a ton, because it's another one of those ball joints that goes in and out. He is just a plain wide body character, or mech, whatever you want to call it. All right, so you saw that. 360 bicep swivel. All right, elbow joints, so. Surprisingly, the elbows don't even go 90 degrees, and this is where I start to talk about it being pretty limited. I figured maybe there'd be an extension there, double joint or something like that. Nope, that's just what it is. And surprisingly, for as limited as most of the joints are, there are some that are really, really good. So there's actually, the hands change out on a peg here. But the piece behind the peg, I don't know if I could pull it out at the moment, is on a ball joint. And you can see it has that full rocking motion and stuff like that. And the forearms themselves actually swivel on their own. So pretty cool stuff. Like I said, the articulation points are insane, but I'm just so limited in some of them, on some of them. So. Ab crunch, tons of ab crunch, where the Ingram had none. Okay, full 360 waist swivel, but the um, waist itself does rub this front skirt. So I'm staying away from going too crazy with it, but good amount. Now outward swing, because of the leg armor, really don't have any, but front, back okay and that's a ball joint in there too he does have thigh swivel but again that armor right there nope knee bend and this is where it gets crazy again so single knee bend and that's it boom it's like okay a double knee joint there would have obviously been great but okay it's nice that it does have the extra cover there, so you don't lose anything aesthetically, but yeah, okay. So, ball joints for the ankles. No movement in the foot itself. None of the front foot going up or this or that. So, it's okay. We'll actually take a look at one of the accessories. The Gatling gun. There's a hole here. You know what? Duh, that's what that, well, I don't, now I'm not sure. I don't know whether or not. I think, yep, the smaller peg is for that. The larger peg is for that. That's what those covers are for. Mystery solved. Translators, thank you for your service. You'll still receive your non-existent paycheck. All right, so with this, Have to remember what end goes in. All right, so that just pegs in there. And then this pegs in on the side. All right.
And that's where the legs just kind of... Kind of aren't too fun, but it's what it is. Right angle, still doesn't look bad. And now we'll actually attach his fun flight stuff. So this just held on by friction. Goes over that backpack piece there. And then these two, the plastic here is pliable so you can move those over its headlights. And then the front one's actually a magnet and it goes on like so. Alright, so let's see what I can do. I've got this generic yet great stand here. And here's just something to emulate. It being airborne, landing, using that parachute, etc., etc. All right, so for the sake of comparison shots, here it is with the Wave WHAM Ingram Unit 1. This is a television version, as well as the gift from God, the amazing Yamato 124th Ingram Unit 1. So, yeah, quite a bit of height difference. Obviously, it scales better with the other Wave version. The Yamato is just plain giant, as stated multiple times in that review. But, I mean, the two of them look good together. In fact, I would say, I'm gonna just zoom in on these two for a second. I'm gonna say the Helldiver from Wave actually looks quite a bit better than the Ingram. So, very well done, and it's nice to see some really good love given to the sculpt of a more generic unit. Now, before I close this out, one thing that I wanted to show that I literally just found out, and I'm glad I did before I stopped rec recording, these pieces right here, they actually butterfly as well. Mine were just stuck on both sides, so that adds quite a bit of butterflying to the shoulders, and it's really cool because there's one pose on the back of the instructions like this that I kept wondering how the heck they accomplished and there we go again this has been the wave w h a m wham wave high advanced model ARL 99 Assault Airborne Labor, commonly known as the Hell Diver. This has been another Kumasao review. Check out the full breakdown article and gallery on kumasao.com. If you have any questions or comments on this, please leave them in the comments section of this video review. And of course, as for this video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's beautiful out here. I'm glad it's warming up. Hopefully you guys have had your spring start and stuff like that too. Winter's been far too long. And I will see you guys in the next review. Thanks.